So it's just symbolic, depending on what culture you come from. So you can't, when I say you can't exceed your environment, that means you can't exceed what you've been exposed to. You can't if somebody gave you a brand new microscope and you said the objective lenses are insufficient if you're a cannibal. Do you know what I mean? If you give a cannibal a watch, he doesn't look at it and say, the gears are not precise, they're one thousand, ten thousand of an inch off. He can't say that. That's what I mean by a person can't exceed their environment. I think one thing that's holding us back as society is our inability to see outside, like uh, Eleanor, going back to Eleanor was saying, we all look at stuff from our frame of reference, or you, you said the, the lens that we see through. So one of the, um, the objections that I get about a resource-based economy, or not one of them, but all re objections are coming from their frame of reference. Oh, well, that's never gonna work because of this. Mm -hmm. They don't see that the technology is evolving in all areas that's going to eliminate what they're objecting. Yeah, in most cases, absolutely. So right. I think that's also part of the con like the construct of, of, of a capitalist society is to, you know, like Noam Chomsky put it, like if you have when he, he was speci he was specifically talking about the Democrat and Republican parties, but he said if you if you allow lively debate, but just in between these two yeah. pillars, right. mm -hmm. then people will think that they're you know free range humans mm -hmm. because they're allowed. As m you can debate Republican versus Democrat all day, and Forever. we want you to. We yeah. want you to just yeah. get stuck on that. So when you say resource-based economy, that's like outside. That's like saying anarchy. That's just nonsense well, because you it's outside yeah. the confines of the system. You say resource-based economy, they hear communism. Yeah, yeah or Most anarchy or whatever. Or, you know? <laughs> or they've or never heard of it, and it's Marxism. weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting, the, the limits of debate, and it's, <laughs> it's so sad that people are just staring at Trump tweets and yeah. the news, Trump tweets. And yet, what the hell is actually going on in governance? No one knows. Yeah. No, exactly. They, they could be passing stuff that we have no idea. The covertness of it is oh, quite genius. Oh, absolutely, yeah. If, whether intended or not. There is, I'm sure there are molding policies that have and terrible repercussions that no one's even talking yeah, about. Yeah, it doesn't even matter whether or not it's intended. It's, this, it's a symptom of the structure of the system. You, it's just inherent. You have a corrupted system you're going to get corrupted behavior it doesn't even have to, people don't have to plot it up it just yeah. will happen naturally yeah well i think on, on part of the media it's definitely intentional because the media i mean they're they're owned by the same corporate uh entities that control governance therefore they're not going to stand there and talk about oh well the u.s just completely uh unilaterally bombed syria for no reason um <laughs> they can't put it that way. They talk about how beautiful the bombs are because yeah. they're well, they're, they're Lockheed Martin. Do you think that it's um, it's a talking point phenomenon as we'd see literally with like Fox News, or do you think it's kind of a, a an indoctrination of these people where they've been so they've been so molded into the values that support the system and industry and war? and the politics of it all, that they just gravitate naturally to those dispositions? Absolutely. I, I mean, I, I do think it's both. I think yeah. that, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's cyclical. Like, they are programmed to be that way, but then they are continuously told that this is the right thing to do and this, you know, yeah. the U.S. empire is doing good. And I, like, you know, Rachel Maddow, I'm sure she thinks that she's doing a great job. And I'm Absolutely. sure that, you know, in terms of book yeah. smarts, she probably is very intelligent, but she's intelligent within the confines of what, cap like, this system allows you to be intelligent yeah. in.